Okay, so we need, now need to look at how to do uh, histograms and polygons from grouped data. So in worked example 10, uh, we looked at the hours of TV that 40 uh, people watched and we put this into a grouped table here. So we'd already done that in a previous um, video titled grouped, a grouped frequency table. We're now going to display this in a histogram. So we draw our axes. Like our other histogram, we do a heading. Label frequency. Label this axis. Number of hours of television watched. Now we're actually going to do it slightly different to the textbook. So I'm going to cross out something in a minute and explain what I've done. So this column here, nine people watched between five and ten hours of television. What the textbook has done is in the middle of that column they've put 7.5, which is the midpoint. Our preferable method is to not do that on the edge of the column to put the 5 on this edge and this edge 10. So in other words that column is between 5 and 10. This next column is between 10 and 15. So here we would put 15. This, sorry, not here. Here at the edge of the column we would put 15. This column here is that between 15 and 20. This column here is between 20 and 25. And this column here is between 25 and 30. So in other words, down the bottom, we are putting this information, the boundaries of the classes. We are not putting, like the textbook has done, the midpoint. Other than that, the histogram, you draw it similarly to what we've done, like a normal histogram, the non-group data histogram. So we have displayed the data as a histogram, which it ha has asked us to do. Again, if we had to comment like it asked us on the shape of the graph, we could say that hours of TV, it's pretty consistent. That graph is pretty consistent up the top with the peak with the most common number of hours of TV watched this peak one between 15 and 20 hours. Okay, it, use the histogram to draw a polygon. So there's our histogram here. It's repeated below. Remember, we're not putting those numbers there. The edge of this is five, this is 10. The next column is 10 to 15. The next one, 15 to 20. The next one, 20 to 25. And the last one is 25 to 30. So just fixing that up. Okay, a polygon. You put a dot in the center at the top of each column. You put a dot, the center here, and you put a dot, the center after the column, and Basically, you join the dots, and that red line is our polygon. Let's do another example of group data. The following data are the results of testing the lives of 100 torch batteries. So that's how long these 100 torch batteries lasted. We're going to group this data because there is a, a, a reasonable range there. I, you know, at a quick spot, I'm trying to see, well, maybe the lowest, maybe that's the lowest score there, 22. Just, that's just at a quick look. Um, and you know the highest battery had a quick look I'm not sure if there's anything above 49 so you know that's a big a big table so we would group the data we're going to group the data so 20 to 25 hours 25 to 30 30 to 35 35 to 40 40 to 45 and 45 to 50 once we've grouped the data we do our tally add up our tallies to the frequency it said that, that we tested the lives of 100 torch batteries. Great, this added up to 100, so we haven't forgotten any. So we have choose, chosen a suitable class interval and present it in a table. Now we're going to draw a histogram and a polygon. So from that information, here is our histogram. We have a heading, 
we have labelled this frequency, we've labelled this the lifetime of the batteries. You can see at the start of this here is a symbol like that. That's because we've jumped straight to 20 to 25, we've missed a batch of scores. So the reason we put that symbol in is to signify that we've missed a batch of scores and we're aware of that and we're starting our column graph if you like at 20. Now again, not liking how they've done it in the textbook, I would put that as 20 and then we'd put our label of 25 there. This column is 25 to 30, this one is 30 to 35. So in other words, down the bottom we've got our little thing and then we say 20 to 25, 25 to 30, 30 to 35, 35 to 40. Okay, so we've done that. Then to do our histogram, it, 12 people up here, 12 people, sorry, 12 batteries had a life between 20 and 25 hours. Then looking at our table, 23 batteries had a life between 25 and 30, 20 batteries had a life between 30 and 35, 16 between 35 and 40, 13 between 40 and 45, and 16 between 45 and 50. So that's our histogram. Then to make a polygon, remember the polygon is a dot in the middle at the top of each columns, a dot after, half, half a column across, half a column at the start, and join the dots. That makes our histogram.